Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author, Mian Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mian Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even love and enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Ford Dryland, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and Heard Worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Kimberly, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, including T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, tote bags, and more, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast for great gift ideas. And for even more great gift ideas, including um, hoodies, as well as um, some iPhone cases, T-shirts, and a lot more. And great books by me and most and Zia. Go to Amazon.com and check out me and Molson Zia. And make sure you visit his store. Make sure you order today. And you also um, check out the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Show.com. Make sure you support today. Also support us on Anchor FM as well as PayPal under the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you give generously and do so today. He's backed by a popular demand and uh, we last spoke with him and um, he's a New York uh, native and actor and worked with, um, you know, quite a few people, Tom Selleck, Simon Cowell, and um, also he spoke a few languages and uh, did a little bit of comedy. And, um, you know, during the pandemic last we talked, uh, he's been working on a new script. We'll talk about that. And uh, of course, this guy may be hanging by a thread, but he's been very resilient in the business. And, and um, he also appeared in uh, Discipline Before Honor, Side Piece, Blue Bloods, Rami, and uh, Mrs. Fletcher. And, um, you know, what's coming up for this wonderful gentleman live from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown New York City? He's backed by popular demand, the very, very multi-talented Dylan Kelly. Dylan, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Oh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. What's well, glad you have you back. Well, well, it's good I have you back as well too, and uh, you do a little uh, comedy uh, shtick as well too, a little uh, chutzpah in it. So, <laughs> and, and always get that, yeah. Right, yeah, and of course, last we talked too that uh, you uh, you worked with Tom Selleck and Simon Cowell, and uh, you also uh, spoke quite a few languages, and um, and and you also appeared in Discipline Before Honor, Sign Peace, Blue Bloods, and. Uh, Remy and uh, Mrs. Fletcher and, um, you know, fast forward uh, to today, it's uh, been about a couple of years, including pandemic and, um, you know, you got some new things in the works and, um, you know, before we get to get started, once again, quickly tell us how I got started, Dylan. Well, uh, it got started almost as uh, interestingly as it uh, probably will end at some point. Mm -hmm. um, it, I was literally walking down the street and ran into somebody who said, you're, you're really good looking. I was about uh, eight, 18 years old at the time. I'm like, thank you so much. That's very kind of you to say. So I it was a weird person in New York. And I think I was walking down uh, 34th Street, mm -hmm. I think it was. It was right by Penn Station. And uh, he goes, wait, 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 here's my card. He hands me his card. And it was somebody who worked for central casting, which was uh -huh. background acting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so someone who handed me their card for central casting and said, you know, you should really consider going into the film industry. You have the look for it. I said, okay, well, why not? I'll try it. So I called and then uh, I did, I did, I got in and then nice. one led to another and yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's really how I got started just like that. Mm -hmm. and, and then you also mentioned that you were in uh, work with Tom Selleck. You also worked with Simon Cowell, and um, you also appeared in uh, Discipline Before Honor, Side Piece, Blue Bloods, and more. Maybe uh, tell us about some of that. And then uh, what, what jobs did you get through uh, Central Casting? Well, so Central Casting, I got um, Rami, 
but that I was a featured extra in that. So that was oh. luck because usually it's background, but they had me as a, a featured extra in that. So I started out small in that. And uh, then I played background in uh, Mrs. Fletcher, but it's still nice to gain the knowledge and everything like that. And then I did uh, one background in uh, Blue Bloods. And then I got called back again, like a, wow. six months later or something like that. And I did that. I was an actual a day player. Mm. And I think I, uh, it's on my uh, it's on my IMDb, but it was I forget what what it was. But I did that. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I uh, started I did a um, side piece was my first like real thing and I played a supporting role in that with lines and everything and uh that was an independent uh film and then I did a discipline before honor which I got my first lead role and I oh, played nice. yeah so that was that was good that was also an independent uh film and uh you know there's not I, so it was it's it's you climb the ladder you know what I mean mm -hmm. so that's how I got there and uh then I started going into comedy and, uh, you know, I, I write screenplays. I'm now myself, I'm a casting director, an independent casting director. So I do a little bit of everything. Oh, wow. Did you just say you're, you're become an independent casting director? Is it for um, Central Casting? Is it your company or who, who are you working for? Uh, I'm, I'm independent contractor. So I work for myself. Oh, wow. And, uh, people who I've worked with in the past on projects or currently um, they'll contact me because I know actors and stuff and people who have pretty experienced and people who are not so experienced. So depending if they're union actors or non-union and whatever the uh, director is looking for, for his project, if it's a union project, he'll contact me and say, I need union actors. If it's uh, a non-union project, he'll need non-union actors. So I have a whole list of actors that I can contact. Mm -hmm. So I've become, I've become that. And then I get a commission based off of that. And then oh, I nice. say, I'll give you these actors if you give me a part in your film. So it's a win, <laughs> the win, win. Yeah. And it works. It, it works. It, it, it's a, it sounds like a barter deal. That's what it sounds like. That works pretty good to me. A barter deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess you can drink to that. So I guess we're celebrating success already. So, <laughs> well, you know what this is? I just got this today. Um, it's called, um, uh, Dolce. I don't know why it's called Dolce. It has nothing to do with Dolce and Gabbana or whatever, huh. but it's, um, it's a kind of wine and it's, uh, it's a red blend and it has, uh, uh, a che bl uh, black cherries, mm. uh, blackberries and dark chocolate in it. And I got wow. it because of that dark chocolate aftertone, which oh I enjoy. Oh my gosh. You're, you're, you're going to have to send me some. It's like you're making me thirsty already. <laughs> I just had something with a little chocolate raspberries and all that with my sweetie. It's like, you know, you got to have that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's good. You know, some, I, I also thought about this as well, too. You talked about being um, an independent casting director. Do you also um, cast uh, people in um, commercials and also modeling and also uh, print and also runway? I have not. Um, oh, really? Most oh. of the things I can't. No, I have not. Um, I have a few friends who are record producers who uh, said, do you know anyone who has good music that they demos of their music or whatever? And I say, sure, I know a few people I can send it, you know, send them your way. And I do. And, you know, if something if something happens out of it, I get commission out of that. If it doesn't happen, oh, well, you know, you try again. Um, but it's most, and that's only happened like three times. It's always usually like film, uh, film, always film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, do yeah. you, so, do you see yourself being a, a casting director, like running your own agency or working for an agency or do you, um, are you still more inclined to, uh, still being in, um, you know, movies like the independent or the Hollywood or say like with, um, you know, network TV, independent TV and, um, films and everything like that it's like are you, are you inclining right now to become a casting director uh looking to form an agency or are you going to continue uh the path on being an actor or a comedian or um or whatever on stage well you know i can answer that in multiple ways and i think that if this was 1976 uh you know i could just be one thing be an actor and that's it but i think these days with 
uh, technology and social media and connections and this and that and the third thing. There's so many different things you can do. And I think you should have knowledge in everything, whether it's acting, singing, directing, producing, casting, all those things, uh, comedy. So um, I have a little bit of knowledge in all those fields. My main field that I have knowledge in is acting. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but I have learned along the way other things and that leads to more opportunities. Mm -hmm. So, um, do I imagine myself being a casting director with my own, uh, company? It could happen. It could happen. I'm hoping it doesn't happen until I'm in my fifties or sixties. <laughs> um, N nothing wrong with now, you know, that's a thing. It's like, I've seen some people that they'll go right, right that somehow got thrown to management and, um, they do well, like in their twenties, thirties, forties and everything else. And, um, I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, enterprises, even sports. It's like, you're seeing general managers. Like, God, it's like 30 years old. It's like, yeah. It's yeah, like, well, it's correct. Like kids running the whole show practically. Oh yes. Oh, yeah, they do. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, you know, let's look at Penny Marshall. She's one of the greats and she wanted to be an actress and she wasn't that good looking or whatever. She and luckily funny, though. she was funny, but her brother Gary was in the business as a director and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. he got her in, but she wanted to be an actress and she did Laverne and Shirley. But after Laverne and Shirley, she, I think her, I, I think her first film was, uh, uh, um, I don't know if it was big or if it was a league of their own. I'll have to look after the show, but it was one it, of them. It, it, it's sounding more like a league of their own because I think that was the whole Bruja where um, she brought in all the uh, female actresses to, um, you know, you know, you know, be on the baseball team and ranges from uh, Madonna to um, Gina Davis and uh, Rosie O'Donnell and, um, you know, just all kinds of shapes, sizes and everything like that. And I think it also, um, call for certain things too um you know how they dress and whatever else and that was a landmark of a movie and i have to say this is that that was a very impressive movie league of the road oh yeah it really was and that's something that you know you have to think about because uh she is an actress first and foremost but she she sort of fell into directing and she casted it herself she casted the <laughs> actors and directed it also wow. you know so mm -hmm. uh you know, I read her, uh, her I listened to her um, book uh, on Audible, her, My Mother's Nuts. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so funny. And she would just tell these stories or whatever. So, I mean, yeah, I guess, uh, I mean, I'm 24 years old now. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm still young enough and I guess attractive enough to be able to act and sing uh comedy. And, you know, if I land a big break, I do. But at least I could at the same time as I'm doing this. I can still be a casting director and all these things. And I have connections. Mm -hmm. now, are mean, looking, not, now are you looking to do more uh, independent films or are you going to try to um, get more roles into uh, the major networks or uh, major film companies? Well, look at Tyler Perry. He stayed away from Hollywood and he's a billionaire. So, uh, and his films are independent. Mm -hmm. He didn't go Hollywood. So, and there's plenty of people who do that. And most of the things you see on Netflix and Hulu are independent anyway. Um, and I think COVID has changed the film industry quite a bit. Uh, you know, it used to all be Hollywood. Now people are getting, you know, GoFundMes and they're getting money to be able to make these big films that become a huge success. And so I think independent films are the new big thing today. It's just a matter of getting in touch with the right people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I absolutely believe that. And I think that uh, I would be happy to do independent films, but I'd just I'd be just as happy to do uh, feature films in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, too, there's another trend, too, that uh, with some of the um, Hollywood actors and actresses who got blacklisted, you know, because of the whole yeah. uh, Me Too thing, you know, mainly Dustin Hoffman. And I think there was also um, I'm, I'm trying to think of the guy in. Um, Oh gosh, it's like he was in, um, you know, Kevin Spacey, and um, I mean, oh yeah, I mean, just, yeah. just all over. And now all of a sudden, you're finding them in independent films. So it seems like that. It seems like the whole thing. And I told everybody, someone builds a better mouse trap. Someone builds a better mouse. And these uh, mice who got, um, you know, trapped managed to get out of it and just find the way around the trap and get an independent film. So right now, it's like independent films is getting to be more for people who, um, you know, have been disgraced from Hollywood and are doing much better than they were in Hollywood. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree. Um, 
<laughs> sorry. Oh, I, I, I see you have a special guest here. So <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, no, nah, don't is... worry about it. If, if is he, is he next year right now? Maybe you can uh, come up and, um, you know, just to say hi. So, and while we're doing that, we're going to take a time out and, um, oh, we got our special guest right here. And, this is uh, Daniel. What's his He's name? A do- Daniel. He's a dachshund. Hello, Daniel. Hi. Her, her. And I, I'm gonna, uh, he's going to become famous too. Oh, really? Okay. So do you have him uh, cast in some uh, films also? No, it was a joke, but <laughs> I, I'm like a, I'm like a package deal. So if you, I'm one of those weird freaks that takes their dog everywhere. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, we, we've, we've got ours too, that uh, we've recently got, uh, her name is Molly. She's a beagle boxer and two years old. If she's up here right now, she would try to fly through the screen and, um, uh, you know, try to get <laughs> to, uh, Daniel. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now she'd be jumping all over the place and I couldn't, um, you know, you know, get to control as well too. So that is amazing. You got some, uh, pets in there too. And, um, we'll also talk about the script you also wrote and, um, also, what's coming up as well, too. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Make sure you go to uh, Google and search the Mike Widener Show for your favorite platform. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and check out the Mike Widener Show merchandise at the Mike Widener Show on, on Amazon. Also check out the Mike Widener Show podcast and coming soon to the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you support us on Anchor FM as well too. And also um, on PayPal and also at um, Anchor FM. And don't forget to check out me and Morrison Zia's uh, store as well too. Including great books like me and Morrison Zia, Once, Missing and More and great uh, products like t-shirts, hoodies, pop sockets, more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia. Make sure you support today. We're here with the multi-talented uh, Dylan Kelly here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, I, I guess he, I guess we just add a new title called uh, Casting Director. And um, and we'll get to more of that in just a minute. And how can they join? And uh, you also uh, wrote one called Hanging by a Thread. And uh, tell us about that. And I think uh, it, it sounds like that uh, you've got a really good thing going. Uh, I wrote a screenplay uh, based out of my life uh, called Hanging by a Thread. Mm-hmm. And it's it's comedic, but it's also very pretty tragic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like um, Anton Chekhov, who is uh, also funny to be serious. Mm-hmm. So it's it's that sort of a genre kind of a thing. Uh, and um, so it's it's about drug addiction, uh, which I am uh, was. I mean, I'm four years sober now. Mm-hmm. So uh, now I just drink. <laughs> no. But- <laughs> Well, we'll drink to that, but uh, don't do it to an excess. So exactly, exactly. Uh, so I, I, so it's about drug addiction. It talks about mental health issues. Um, I struggle with uh, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and uh, it talks about how to cope with that. And uh, you know, growing up, um, you know, so uh, growing up and dealing with the pressures of all that, and uh, and de- how you experience death and uh at, at a young age and uh and then, then then it talks about my experiences in rehab and i'm mitch mashing i'm not going in order but it just talks about all those things mm-hmm. okay all right yeah. and, and all and also too that um you know there's been a lot of uh films and everything else talking about those issues like with ptsd and also um you know especially with the COVID as well too and um and also i understand you did some comedy as well too and um you know for a little bit and uh are you planning on going back in the uh the comedy circuit um 
anytime soon, especially after the uh, pandemic is over? I would love to go back into comedy. I would okay. love to go back to comedy. Yeah, I would. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, it, it, because of COVID, everything's been closed. So it's hard to find somewhere to go. And I'm a little beyond open mic night. So it's kind of trying to find someone who would be willing to hire me for, you know, a 30 or 40 minute comedy night or something like that. So that's really what it is. So, um, you okay. know. Okay. And, and, and then also too, that, um, and then of course you talk about being uh, independent casting director and if uh, anybody was interested in, um, you know, joining your casting company and um, you know, what do they do and uh, how can they, uh, how can they get a hold of you and uh, inquire about your, uh, your casting? They can just uh, direct message me. I'm very public. Uh, it's not even a company. It's just something I do. Um, uh, and thank God to success. I've done it. Um, but uh, it, you, they can reach me on my Instagram at uh, DYL5445. Uh, or they can reach me uh, on my email, which is uh, Dylan Kelly2019 at gmail.com. <laughs> so it's very easy. Okay. And for you actors and actresses out there looking to, um, you know, get into film or something, contact Dylan Kelly and uh, he'll have something for you or put you on file and uh, point you in the right direction. What's coming up in 2021 for Dylan Kelly? We'll find out just one minute. Listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson, Z of Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the multi-talented Dylan Kelly after this timeout. We're back with the multi-talented Dylan Kelly here on the Mike Wagner Show. It's great to uh, connect with him again after a couple of years. And, um, and of course, uh, he was um, been an actor, worked with Tom Selleck, Simon Cowell, and more. And uh, you can also listen to the previous interview and um, also took on some new roles, too, being an independent uh, casting director, which is amazing. And um, also, uh, you know, appeared in some films and did some scripts. And uh, what else can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Dylan? Well, I'm working on a uh, project now that I was uh, I was also the casting director and uh, in that assistant casting director, I should say. I was in that. And this film is called uh, Messiah's uh, Quint. That's hard for me to say it. Quintel Pro. Quintel Pro. Right. That's the word. No. Uh, yeah. And it's good. Um, the producer is uh, Jonas Eduardo, but he likes to go as Eunice. Mm -hmm. um and it's 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 good i mean i played a uh, assassin in it so it that was a lot of fun um it's a drama thriller suspense and um his company is uh outsource multifaceted llc mm -hmm. and they per they you know they specialize in a lot of things so they don't just do films but they do uh ghost writing uh publishing uh, video games, stuff like that. Uh, and they'll be doing more of that uh, in the future. Wow. So, yeah, and the film takes place uh, in the 60s. So around the time of uh, JFK and uh, Martin Luther King's assassination. Hmm. So um, that's around the time it takes place. And it's, it's, it's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Okay. So, that is yeah. Very, that is very amazing. And uh, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Uh, well, the best advice I can give is, uh, you know, keep, keep trying, keep going, stay strong. And, uh, you know, just, if you feel like your hope is up, just keep hoping because it's not true. Stranger things have happened. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for example, I just did, uh, I just did another, uh, another film, uh, and I'm, I'm working on that now. And um, so that's interesting. And when I did, uh, when I did that film, uh, it was intense because I've never really done a, um, how could I say it? I guess a, a, an action-based thing like that. And there was guns involved and everything. So that was, uh, that was pretty, uh, that was fun. That was definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of fun for mm -hmm. sure. It does sound a lot of fun. And where can we find all your works at? 
Uh, well, when they're released, you can find them, but um, there's another project I'm doing now. Uh, and uh, this one is uh, going to be in New York. And uh, this one is called, well, I don't know if I can say what it's called, um, but anyway, I can say what it's about. Um, the director is uh, Lucas Braze, and uh, he's the CEO of uh, a company called Braze Entertainment Corporation. Uh, he's born in Harlem, uh, and it's a, it's a web series. I guess I can say the name. Uh, it's called Braze World. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's basically a crossover between the show uh, Power and The Wire. So it's mix over. It's a mix over between that. It's about jail. Uh, it's about, you know, uh, it's, it's basically about the reforming in prison. OK, so, uh, you know, a person is caught between good and the bad and that reform. So that's what it is. Okay. Um, this guy's really talented. I think he has a lot going on for him. Um, you know, and if anyone is interested in, in reaching out to him about his projects or anything, um, you know, you can find him on Instagram at uh, Luca Braze. That's uh, L-U-C-C-A-B-R-A-Z-E. So, um, and you can talk to him about whatever he's working on and his projects and stuff like that. Okay, that sounds good. We're looking forward to doing that. Once again, the multi-talented Dylan Kelly here on the Mike Wagner Show. Dylan, it's great to have you back. Thank you for your time. You've been amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Just make sure you keep this up to date. Love you to have it back. And uh, once again, uh, tell us uh, what's your website. How can people reach you? And also, um, you know, where can you get just more information about, um, you know, the films you're working on and um, how to send in, you know, just uh, give us uh, information, what's your website, how they contact you. Well, you know, it's simple. Uh, you can people can contact me through backstage at my name. Uh, they can co contact me through uh, message me through IMDb. They can message me through my email, which is uh, Dylan Kelly 2019 at gmail.com. Uh, that's K E L L E Y. Mm -hmm. um, they can message me on Instagram at uh, D Y L 5445. And uh, they can even call me. But okay. I won't get my number out on, we, the, on, the, on the web. We certainly will do. So once again, Dylan, it's great to have you back. Very big. Thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep this up. Today. Love you back in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. And uh, you've been absolutely terrific as always. So have you. And thank you so much. I, I'm happy to be here. And I was happy to be on the show. So thank you.